tutorial on a easy, simple uh, Western omelet. Um, our ingredients that we're going to be using for the simple omelet is egg, of course, um, cheese, onion, and peppers. Don't forget the butter. All right, first, Steve. Right. The first thing we're going to do is because our onions and peppers are raw, we're going to cut them, we're going to saute them, and make them ready to add into our omelet when the time comes. So first things first, we're going to show you how to cut, right? Knives are sharp, they cut. Okay, the best way to cut, keep your point down, keep your hand on the back, and slide. Slide like this. Okay? Keeping your hands, your fingertips away. These are knife. They are sharp. They will cut. And there we go. Nice bite-sized pieces. You don't want to cut anything that's larger than a bite size. Remember, one rule of thumb is never cut a piece that's too big to fit in a spoon. That way you know that it's going to be bite-sized. One choke. All right, we're gonna put our knives in the same place, except for Mac that we need butter. Now, omelets are best in a non-stick pan. We don't have that. Uh, we have a nice stainless steel pan. We're gonna get lots of butter. All right. Margarine, if you have it. Olive oil or corn oil. Vegetable oil, if you don't. Nice and warm. All right, and then we're going to add our veggies. So, what kind of degree would you put that on, uh, Steve, to start out? I'm going to put this on medium heat to melt the butter, and we really only want to soften the vegetables. All right, so. And this won't take long on this stuff here. Melt that butter. So, we we'll put the onion and the peppers in the bowl to get ready to do the saute. Did you? Also, there's other things you can add to saute, such as mushrooms, um, tomatoes, um, things like that. If you have um, in, your, in your refrigerator that you want to get rid of, or if they're going bad, that would be a good idea. All kinds of peppers. Um, broccoli, whatever you want to put into your um, your omelet is is um, really good. Okay. All right, we're gonna add the veggies. Oh, so while Steve's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and beat the egg. Steve, do you add milk to this egg? Uh, if you can, if you want to uh, extend, if you don't have enough eggs and you want to make it a little bigger, you can add milk. Some people just prefer it. Um, it's up. It's up to the individual how they want to do it. Okay. So for a small to medium sized omelet, I would suggest maybe two eggs. Um, you can add three eggs if you like. If you're trying to stretch it, as Steve said, you could uh, add a little milk that does stretch the egg. So we have enough eggs right now, so we're going to go ahead and not add milk at this time. I got a shell in. If you do, uh, just a tip, if you do get a shell in your, um, in your mixture, in your egg, go ahead and use the shell egg, the egg shell, to scoop it out because it clings to it. Yep. All right. A little bit of salt and pepper. I'm just going to soften these a little bit. And then we're going to take them off the heat. We're going to get ready to add our eggs. All right, do you want anything in the uh, egg mixture? Just pick up your bowl. Uh, we're shaking it. Pick up the bowl. There you go. Okay. Yeah, we're going to take these off the heat. We're going to add a little more butter. We're going to get ready to add our eggs. It's really this simple. Oops. 
So the more you beat it, the fluffier the egg will be also. It adds air to the egg.
Thank you.